Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Well, we didn't win the lottery, but we all identified ourselves as people that want better. Our needs, our wants, and our desires met. This we can't deny. For a while, the lottery offered a promise. It's one of those means to distract and at another time, it's to remind us of what we are missing. Never, we'll never ever win that money. I think that's why we were promised to receive this wonderful life after we die. That's if we don't rock the boat here. Something suspicious about that. But tonight, millions of us were disappointed, not by the elections, but that our dreams, many of them died with that each number that popped down off that power ball. This is another reminder of the systems that uh, represent the world, including this, the USA. It is designed to benefit some at the expense of others. Two billion dollars, a lot of people invested in that. But how many people profited from it? And many people have fought, killed, and died to maintain the system. I remember just a day or two ago, I was going to tear my house down from the bottom all the way up and have the ground under it treated and build this baby back up just like I wanted it. And it was gonna be magnificently beautiful to meet me and my family's desires. I was gonna buy my wife uh, a Jaguar. Oh, my wife deserves a Jaguar. She's been that kind of a wife, that kind of a caring person. And I haven't been able to do anything for her. I was going to make sure that everybody that could be touched with my blood could get some benefit out of that money. And as I started looking back over those cousins, you know how those cousins stretch and those cousins stretch. The next thing I saw, my family was all over the state, all over the nation probably, because all of a sudden those cousins started connecting. And I'm sure you had some of the similar dreams. You were going to do this and you were going to do that. But then like my dream from that, crushed. But yet, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to remind some and to introduce to others of a God of love that has what I call might puzzle rise this existence for the unfolding into a heaven on earth, a paradise, if it were, when the people return to the path of life. When I say path of life, I'm talking about to God and us. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen, how we ignore certain things that we know isn't proper. We just let it go by as if it doesn't have an effect on us, but it really does. For an example, I remember when I was a teenager, I grew up in Mississippi where poverty was rampant. A lot of us only had money when we picked cotton, uh, chopped cotton, or did some kind of labor like that, a motor lawn for people who might have some money to pay you for doing that. And even when you got paid, it was so small. But I remember it was just as beautiful as could be. 17 years old. Let me tell you, getting back on the deception thought, I had gone to Chicago, 17 years old, coming out of Mississippi, got a job making $1.65 an hour, big money. And I went through magazines, <clears throat> and I saw how you advertise in magazines and stuff like that. You know how it works. And I saw a product that cost about 20 bucks back in the 60s, $20 was a lot of money. But hey, I was making a dollar sixty-five. I was making big money, so I ordered this. But what it was supposed to do, 
it was supposed to make hair grow. You know, you, they weren't talking about getting bald and making hair grow. It was just hair grow, I guess. But being so young, uh, in my mind, I wanted to see some hair grow on my face. I went, I was out for the summer. I went to go back maybe my senior year, and I went to have hair on my face, a nice mustache. I went to have hair in my chest, so I'm going to have my shirt open, hair can show. I bought that stuff, and when the last drop was gone, I was just as bald as I was when I took the first drop. I couldn't believe it. I'm thinking, how in the world can you advertise, advertise something in a paper where it's meet, reaching millions of people? And people order the stuff, send money to order the stuff and get the stuff, and it does nothing. I'm thinking about, it should be something to protect people from this. Then I reminded back when I was in, you know, and back at, not in Chicago then, not on summer vacation, but back at home in Mississippi, they used to advertise Brill Cream. Brill Cream, Brill Cream, a little dab will do you. And I used to put a little, buy me some Brill Cream with that little change I had, put it in my scale, rub it through my hair, take that comb, and I'm looking for my hair to be like white folks' hair. And I don't care how much Brill Cream I put in my hair, how much combing I did, how much patting I did. I came up with my brother hair. And I'm here thinking, wow, look again, I got robbed. And see, stuff like that happens, ladies and gentlemen. Stuff like that literally happens. And people, like I did, did nothing about it. And so you just constantly getting robbed. So people come out, I find out, throughout life telling you stuff like this, lying to you about stuff like this. Like the Republicans might say, we're going to do this. Or the Democrats say, we're going to do this. Or people for different in different organizations say, we're going to do this. Even the churches say, we're talking about this and that. And you look at the fruits of what they're talking about is just this bombastic junk as that stuff I bought for my hair and that stuff I bought to grow hair did nothing and so ladies and gentlemen while we just went through this election that I haven't talked much about and people you know emphasizing the lies that it that part of it stands on but we the people out here in the middle we don't know what is what we're just either want what the Democrats say is right we are either believe in them for whatever reason or the Republicans, for whatever reason, or Trump, for whatever reason. But you know what? Nobody is believing God. Oh, you got a lot of people going to church. They're not believing God. They're believing their preacher. That's why you got mega churches, and all the mega preachers have jet, have the luxury of life, just like the what we call worldly people, luxuries of life. But the flock, we're out here hoping that we can win a lottery, putting our whole life dream on a lottery that we know we're going to lose, but we're taking a chance. Why? Because there's no representation of a God, a God of love that stands up and say, you don't have to be tricked. You don't have to play these games. I gave you all of the resources that are used to do anything that you might ever want to do in the future, as long as human beings exist on the face of the earth. I have provided the earth as a, as a refrigerator, as a storage house that protect, that take, protect whatever you might need whether it's above the earth, on the earth, or in the earth, whether it's seen or unseen, this power has done that. And not only that, I have created you in such a way that if you dealt with the way I've designed it, you could be here. And what does that basically mean? That means that those resources, they're there for a reason. You are designed because you will need those resources. And you don't know perhaps many of them, but because of your mind, your ability, your ability to imagine, you will be directed. You will be informed. You will be instructed. And by your hands and that you can be able to utilize those to create all of the stuff that exists on the faith of earth. All of the houses that I just got through imagine that I won't be able to build because I didn't build that, win that lottery. Neither will you. But God has designed a way that all of us can have the houses that we want. That we can have the kind of transportation that we want. God has designed this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not talking to you about some crappy tail Republican or crappy tail Democrat or crappy tail white person, or crappy tail black person, or crappy tail man, or crappy tail woman. I'm telling you about a power you can't see that is responsible for everything that you can see, except the ugliness, and he played a part in that because he gave us the ability to make choices, and the choices that we made have created this, this hell that I'm fussing about right now. This God has made it possible that every last one of our kids can be educated as they want to be educated in college or some other kind of programs. 
made it possible that we can have the health care that would be necessary to pro protect us from sicknesses and diseases without some people trying to put down big pharma, talking about they've come up with something that will work better, but they won't even give it to us. They're trying the same old trick that big pharma tried or the same old trick that they did in the magazine talking about get this hair product, your hair going to grow. You don't know what's going on, but you can trust God because with God is God in us. Is we the people deciding that we're going to protect one another as we want to be protected by ourselves or for ourselves. And we're going to use the spirit of a power that we can't see to justify our doing it. Because we ain't going to blame. We ain't going to trust no white man. We ain't going to trust no black man. We ain't going to trust no man. We're going to trust a power that we can't see. And we're going to be a representation of that power that we can't see so that we can guarantee that some of that is real because it's in us. And once we've done that, my, my friends, we can live right here on this earth. We don't have to be thinking about dying. We don't have to be thinking about a lottery. Why? We got what we want. We don't have to lie. We don't have to cheat. We don't have to try to jump ahead of somebody because we can lie. We're, we're not afraid to lie. We'll do this because we're not afraid to kill you and other people won't. What kind of hell is this, ladies and gentlemen? I'm telling you, it's time for us to wake up. Time for us to wake up. This little midterm thing is over. Somebody talking about 24 and all they're trying to do is think about is how to screw you. And I'm telling you, spend your time, not trying to defeat them, but spend your time creating what you want. Create what you want and you won't even know anything about that junk they're talking. Because that's what it will be, nothing but pure OD junk. Now, I think I'll stop right here this morning. Yep. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that, yeah, we're broken hearted this morning because we were trusted in something that ain't real. We were trusted in a lottery that we knew we couldn't even win. Okay, but somebody got some out of it. That's the same thing we're doing today. We're trusted in a system that ever since it's been here, it has never worked. But we keep trusting in it. We keep putting our reliance in the system that has never worked. And it's just like that lottery. We lost. A couple people won. The system, some people win, but the most of us lose. And if we are not smart enough to change, Woo! That means we got a very we don't have any representation of God that can be identified in the human form. Now that's sad. And I'm talking about love. I'm not talking about trying to hurt somebody. I'm not talking about trying to send somebody to hell. I'm talking about trying to lift people up to heaven by showing them what they don't know, showing them the right way to act and how to stand up for it even if it puts you in jail, how to stand up for it even if somebody kill you. But stand up for it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.